State News is taking action tonight. The Chesterfield County Commonwealth's attorney breaking her silence on the controversial solicitation case against a Virginia Beach pastor. 8 News reporter Olivia Jaquith has been digging on this for months and requesting an interview. Olivia is live now in the Digital Center and really since October to be exact, right, Olivia? That's right, Heather and Eric. Commonwealth's attorney Stacey Davenport now says new information was provided to her office just within the last 48 hours and that it could reopen this case. After months of requests for comment, though, she would not take questions today nor say what that new information actually is. This may once again become a future pending criminal case. Chesterfield's top prosecutor speaking out in person for the first time since her office dropped charges against Virginia Beach Pastor John Blanchard. As a result of new information related to the case against John Blanchard that was provided to my office less than 48 hours ago, I intend to move the court to appoint a special prosecutor to determine whether this case should now be prosecuted. The Rock Church International pastor was arrested back in October of 2021, along with 16 other men. It was part of an undercover sex sting where Chesterfield detectives posed as underage prostitutes to lure in potential offenders. These text messages show the exchanges between authorities and Blanchard, where he requests a QV, or quick visit, for sex. But dropping the charges almost exactly one year later, Chesterfield County Commonwealth's attorney Stacy Davenport cited a lack of evidence, a statement that has been protested by police chief Jeff Katz and state delegate Tim Anderson. She suspected that future criminal charges are going to be brought and that needs to happen. That's what all these other guys went through who got caught up in this and there just needs to be an end of this story at the hands of a judge, not the hands of an elected Commonwealth attorney. Due to the repeated public comments and unfounded political attacks levied upon my office by both Chesterfield County Police Chief Jeffrey Katz and delegate Tim Anderson, I cannot ethically make any decisions on whether or not this new information should impact future prosecutorial decisions in this matter. Chesterfield police declined our interview request for Colonel Katz, but he issued this statement on social media shortly after Davenport's news conference, which lasted less than two minutes. He writes, quote, I have privately and then publicly requested reasonable answers to reasonable questions, questions many are rightfully asking, questions that now actually stand a chance of getting answered. If Ms. Davenport chooses to frame those questions as a political attack, so be it, end quote. Now, we don't yet know who that special prosecutor will be, but stay with us on air and online as we work to learn more. For now, live in the Digital Center, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.